Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenner, and today we are playing Poland here in the Open Oversalis 4. England has conquered all of Britain. I uh, Leinster has con conquered all of Ireland. Muscovy has everything they need for Russia except Riazan, but look at Riazan. They're over here with no allies. Of course they have no allies. Why? Well, I don't know why they have no allies. You want to be my vassal? Oh, Riazan would vassalize to me. I am tempted because that would prevent Muscovy from forming Russia. Not that that matters too much, but I kind of like the idea of sticking it to Muscovy. Hmm. You know what? <laughs> if we're going to annex the Teutons, we might as well vassalize Riazan. Oh, the hilarity that will come when we have Riazan as our vassal and Muscovy cannot form Russia. They also didn't annex Novgorod. For some reason, they took Novgorod, but they refused to invade to invade Archangel. So Archangel is just sitting over here, and nobody's bothering it. In the meantime, we're getting relations up with our personal union bitches. Uh, currently working on Norway. Denmark is fine. Lithuania is fine. Sweden is. Eh, we'll work on Sweden next. And uh, we're almost ready to start annexing the Teutons. Now the Teutons do have a core over here in Newmark. But I really don't care. Brand we would have to go to war with Brandenburg if we wanted to get Newmark uh, and give it to our vassal. The problem is Brandenburg is allied with Austria, and I am not going to go to war with Austria. They're my buddy. They're my ally. We're at plus 200 relations. There's no way we're going to go to war with Austria, so keep get that mind out of your head. We're just going to annex Teutonic Order and just forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, never mind. Never mind, Riazan is going to get a next. Well, there you go. The moment I was saying we're going to vassalize them, they're, they're, they must be just declared war. Oh well, Seslavis. It was an interesting thought, but it's not going to work. Uh, let's also claim Bihar. And, uh, let's see. Yeah, start the annexation of the Teutons in... Four months. Three months. Okay. Oh, armies are building. That's right. I forgot about my armies are building. Uh, we're still making money? Yeah. We need to delete these mercs, though. Are we still over the limit? No. We're good. Okay. Good to go. Genoa wants access? That's like the fourth time they've asked for access, and I keep giving it to him every time. So, in other words, what he's doing is he's saying, can I have access? And I say, yes. And then he cancels it. And then he goes, can I have access again? And I say, yes. And then he cancels it. And then he goes, can I have access again? And I say, yes. And then he cancels it. Four times now. <sighs> Austria is still at war. France is at peace. That's good. So I want to declare war as soon as we start annexing the Teutons. Next month. Okay, come on home. And come on home from Norway as well. Okay, they are annexing. We can't do Lithuania until 1496. So, five more years until we can start Lithuania. That's fine. And yes, we cannot do the Commonwealth because Denmark currently owns Danzig. And to do the Commonwealth, we have to own Danzig. Oh well. Not gonna happen. But we can declare war on Hungary, who only has one ally, and his one ally sucks balls. There is a coalition against us, but so far it's just Hungary. Yep, <laughs> Hungary are in a coalition against Poland. That's it. So let's come to the border, take the general out, uh, put the general over here. Actually, put him over here. Level two, right? Yeah, level two. All right. Well, give me, give me two mercs. You can have the general. We'll we'll go to pest. Okay, that works. Split in half and go this way. As soon as you get to Pazoni, come on, get to Pazoni. There we go. Uh, we'll declare for. Hunyad, 
I don't care. Just declare for something. Oh, they don't want to join? Are you kidding me? They don't want to join me in my war? It's a just war. Oh, man. Why don't you want to join me in my war of justice? Well, they're not going to join me. Now do you want to join? No, why not? Oh, because he's hostile. Oh, well, France will probably join, right? Let's see. You're going to go that way. You're going to go that way. Austria is hostile because they have a claim on our province, Pizzoni. But we're not going to keep Pizzoni. We're going to sell it to Hungary once we vassalize Hungary. We can't vassalize him in this war, but we can in a future war. Claim Sopron. I don't want to claim Sopron. Okay, Savoy has joined. France. Oh, they don't want to join. Why not? It would destabilize France? How? You don't have a truce. You don't have a truce or a marriage. How would joining this war destabilize you? What? <laughs> what? You have no truce, no marriage. How would joining this war destabilize you? I'm very... Con oh, because he has access. He has access through Savoy and Hungary. Well, get rid of your damn access. God damn it, France. I can't call you in if you have access. Oh, shit. Hadn't thought of that. What a jerk, France. What a jerk. Uh, anywho, let us, um, who should we get relations with? Someone. Could go back to Muscovy, maybe. Mm. Let's go to Sweden. And Hamburg has a third province. Oh, they took Hanover from Lüneburg. Ha! Huh. Poor Lüneburg. So we declared for Hunyad, right? Yeah, Hunyad. So we gotta make sure we siege that one down. That's gonna be worth a lot. France, get rid of your damn... Look at this. He has access through Savoy, Palatinate, Austria. He has all this access. He doesn't need it. But because of that access, he won't join my damn war. God damn it. So stupid. Alright, kill that army. Drop a siege. Kill that army. Drop a siege. Uh, kill whatever you can. France still has access through everyone, so he won't come. God damn it, France. Wait, I thought you were heading this way. Why'd you stop? That was weird. Alright, you can go home. You as well. Alright, siege away. And Savoy doesn't seem to want to come over here, so okay. Let's put the speed up. Just let the sieges go. Got the walls busted in Bihar, that's nice. I'm going to wait for our claim to finish before we peace out, of course. And I hope that they're still small enough to take in two wars. It'd be really cool if we got a mission to vassalize them. Because if we did, that would make it that would make us able to vassalize them in one war rather than two. And it cuts the cost by 50%. Oh well. Go home.
Castile and Grenada are back at war. Uh, yeah, top off Austria again. Make sure they are very happy with us. And yeah, Muscovy's making short work of Riazan. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Okay, the target province... No, the target province was Hunyad. Well, hurry up, everyone. Gain military power at the cost of money. Yes, please. Thank you. Now we have the target province. Okay, good. And the capital. Okay, mercenaries. Go to Pizzoni. Yeah, put the mercs in Pizzoni. Okay, topped off relations with Austria. They're still hostile. That's because they have a claim on us. Uh, yeah, top off France. I just want to make sure everyone stays happy. 89, 200, 200, 39. Okay, we're good. Oh, we can tech up our military. And we should. Great. We can now build cannons. And Riazan was annexed. Damn it. Oh well. Stop fail sieging. Ooh, prestige or admin points. Give me the admin points. We'll get prestige from piecing out. Alright, we're done. Uh, yeah, we'll come back from France real soon here. So for now... For now, just go to Pizzoni. Hey, free stability. Look at that. Gain one stability. I like it. Plus three stability. We can even convert stuff now. <laughs> wow. Ooh, inflation reduction. Nah. Okay, group up. Group up. All right. Oh, did my general die? Yeah, no, he didn't. I'm an idiot. There we go. And Austria won't join my damn war, so I can't get my troops home. <laughs> Isn't that dumb? All right, let's talk peace, baby. Uh-oh, long steam save? Yep. Sorry, guys. Long steam cloud save. Hello, Twitch chat. Welcome... Long Steam Cloud save number two. So, do you think you should take Poland, can do Winged Hussars separately? No. Why would you do those separately? Winged Hussars can into space. Yeah, essentially it's what we're doing. We're doing Winged Hussars can into space. That's what we're hoping for. We've got a long road ahead of us. But we're off to an okay start. Why would you say you need Aristocratic for Winged Hussars? Aristocratic makes cavalry cheaper. I'm doing alright, I just have a bad headache. Right, we're not going to westernize because you need winged hussars, that's right. There we go, and the long save is over, yay! Okay, let's talk peace hungry. So, they're at 137, so they're too big to vassalize right now. Understandable. But we can take, what, two provinces? Maybe three? 
and then they'll be small enough to vassalize next time. How much is this one worth? 18. So, yeah, if we just take those three, then they'll be small enough to vassalize next time. Supposedly. That's assuming they don't get any, um, they don't finish any buildings or anything. If they finish any buildings, that could change. Let's see, this will piss off Hungary and Bohemia, and that's about it. All right. Uh, no, don't revoke your cores. Keep all your cores. Get rid of your relations with Muscovy, and um, give me your trade. Yep. And then next time, we'll be able to vassalize him. Cool. All right. We should immediately go to... Um, I guess we can core that one, huh? 25. Nah, we're just gonna... We're only at 92. Yeah, we're just gonna vassalize them in the next war anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. I do need a claim on them, though, although I think they're embargoing us. No, they're not. They stopped their embargo. Damn. Why would you stop embargoing us? All right, we'll have to get another claim then. Uh-oh. Austria's at war with what? Crimea. Oh, yeah, we'll help. Here, call me in. Put me in, coach. This is going to bring us into war with the Ottomans, I assume. Bring me in. Put me in, coach. Of course you can have access. Come on, Austria, put me in. It's a defensive war, right? Yeah, and Austria's a leader. Put me in! He may not be able to call me in since he doesn't like me. Oh, that'd be so stupid. Here, give me a claim on Temez or something. Whatever. And how long is our truce? Until... Ba -ba 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 -bum. November of 1497. Okay. He's not going to call me in. Oh, that makes me so sad. He's not going to call me in because he's hostile. God damn it. But I want... I want to help. Oh, he's giving me attrition. Thanks for the attrition. Huh. Oops. I missed one. Ferrara wants access. Oh, well. Ah, bold time. Extra missionary? Sure. This would be good, being able to sell them all this junk. We already spent about 270 points on those four provinces that we cored. And those were all base 2 tax. They were cheap. One was even a base 1 tax uh, right there, base 1. They're very cheap to core, but we, you know, still cost us a lot because of the Hungary, what's it called? Increased coring costs. Hungarian traditions plus 100%. It's very expensive to core these lands. So I'd rather not do it. I'd rather just vassalize them and sell them their shit back. Anywho, uh, what can we do? If we vassalize them, then that means we can annex Croatia whenever, because we can sell Zagreb and Lika to Hungary, because they're both Hungarian cores. Yeah. Do you have any other cores or claims or anything? No. He was a very passive player. Okay, good enough. Okay. 20% on the Teutons, that's fine. Uh, who wants a hug? Norway, Sweden, Denmark? No. Yeah, go to Norway. Keep our people happy, our vassals. Yep, Austria's having no trouble invading over here. Are the Ottomans involved in some other war? 
Nope, it's their only war. So they're going to focus their entire military on Austria, which is 46,000 guys. Wow. Well, we're almost at our manpower limit, so we should probably get some more dudes. But we're, we're annexing the Teutons, and they're going to give us five guys. I guess that's fine. Oh yeah, can we can we weasel our way into a war with Brandenburg? That'd be great. England annexed Leinster whole. Oh my god. They completely annexed Leinster. All of Ireland in in one war. Wow. 63 aggressive expansion. Wow. That's pretty bold. Let's see if we can get a cardinal. Oh my god, England has three? They got another freebie? Are you shitting me? They got three freebies in a row. You know what? Let's go steal him. Screw you, England. He's mine. I'm gonna steal him. What a jerk. Can you believe that guy? Wait. The guy that we just invested in died? He was 39 years old! <laughs> what? He was 39! He was the youngest man! And England got another freebie! You're shitting me! They got four freebies in a row! Oh my god, they're just getting so many free cardinals. This is crazy stupid! That means they don't have to spend any points at all getting their relations up with those guys because I'm mean, not they don't have to spend any points at all because they get freebies. They got 40 free here, 40 free here, 41 free here, and they got another 39 free or 31 free or whatever it was. I can't believe how many free points they're getting. That's insane. And it's all because they're the Curia controller. Wow. Very powerful to be the Curia controller, that's for sure. Build a great palace. Spend 75 bucks to get... Ooh, prestige. I'm going to keep that available. I'm hoping my king will die. Because our heir... Oh my god, look at this. Our king is 66. Wait a minute. Wait, does anyone see that? Does anyone see that? Same dynasty, Austria. Does anyone see that we have the same dynasty as Austria? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We have the same dynasty as Austria. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to cut here. Thank you guys for joining me. I've been Shen. You've been you. This is crazy. I'll see you next time.